everyone and welcome to another video installment that we have and in today's video we're here again at Nelco's Distribution Incorporated. My name is Peter Mackey and today I'm going to tell you how to prepare panels, kitchen cabinet panels, wooden ones specifically for vinyl install. So with this panel there's a few steps that we need to take in order to prepare it for vinyl application. The first is what we want to do is look at the panel, make sure that it's smooth and doesn't have any major dents or cracks. If there are dents or cracks, what we're going to have to start off by doing is filling them with a wood filler. After that, once the wood filler is dry, we can then proceed to sand the entire panel and the entire surface, all of the sides. And then after we've sanded, we'll then apply primer. One of the things too that I'll, I like to do on my first panel before I even get started on any of the prep work is I actually like to take some old scrap pieces of vinyl and do a quick little preparation to see how I'm going to lay my pieces of vinyl down. And because there's different wood grains on this piece, we want to still try and mimic that same pattern. And so what I've done is I've used just one small piece here, gone into the, con into the concave, and then out and then tied in another piece here and these are just two old scrap pieces of material that I've used and this way I can determine how I'm going to lay the film out. But before we get to that part I'm going to show you how to prep the panels. So with this panel we're actually quite fortunate because it's a brand new panel so that makes our job a lot easier. But one of the things that you can see and it's very hard to see but there's a slight slight dent in here and so what I'm going to do is I'll first come in, sand that down a little bit and actually fill this with a little bit of wood filler because any sort of bump like this is visible after the vinyl is applied and we want to make sure it's as smooth as possible so that we don't see these little imperfections. So our first step in preparing this panel is to sand this down just a little bit to see if we can get it fairly smooth. I've got a palm sander here which helps a lot. You can also just use your regular old piece of sandpaper here. However, this does the job a lot quicker and it'll get you off the job site a lot faster. And so you can see I've actually brought that down really quickly and it's quite smooth. Um, however, when you actually run your hand on there, you can still feel that there is a little bit of an indentation and that will still be visible. Next thing I want to do is just clean it off with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. So this will just help get rid of any of the dust that's there. My next step is I'm going to actually take a little bit of wood filler, which I've already prepared here, and I'm only going to need a little bit with a spatula to come in and fill in this portion and make it nice and smooth. So it doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to come back and sand it. And one of the key components to getting a wood filler is you want to get something that's quick drying because when you're at a job site you don't want to have to be waiting an hour for everything to dry because the quicker you can finish this the quicker you can get home so the panel is now ready to get sanded with our first coat of sanding and generally what i like to use is about 120 grit sandpaper it's fairly fine, but it's not overly fine. This is gonna to help to just smooth down any of the edges and get a really good surface that's going to accept our primer really well. So, with sanding, we're not in here to kind of come and bring down all of the edges and take a really thick layer off of the cabinet. Unless you have damage on your cabinet door and you really gotta bring the layer down, we don't wanna go crazy here. We just wanna prep the surface so that it'll accept the primer. And I'll quickly show you what I do on cabinets. As you can see that's just a really light sand but as I feel this with my hand I can feel that I've scuffed the surface and it'll be perfect and it's really nice and smooth and like I said earlier we were fortunate with these cabinets that we had a really smooth finish 
So this is now ready, this portion, for primer. However, I am going to have to get onto the inside of the doors and the inside of these corners. And I like to just get a little uh, sanding brush with, it's got a 45 and a 90 degree angle. And then I'll just come in here manually to get that inside corner because we want to make sure that these corners are also sanded so that when we prime them, it'll accept the material. So a little bit of sanding and you've got to make sure that you feel it with your hand and eventually you'll learn when everything's prepped. Which is <laughs> Oh my god, it's like so stuck. <laughs> I gotta get something. Okay, so we're ready for our primer. And one little tip is what ends up happening is the lid actually gets glued on. And I think I just about burst the blood vessel in my forehead trying to take the lid off. Um, so we had a couple of tools to take it off, but it's now off. <laughs> what we're using here is Bodak primer because we're using Bodak film. So with this primer, essentially what we want to do is a 50% primer mixture with just 50% regular everyday drinking water mixture. So I always just do this by eye and also by feel. So I'm just gonna start, I don't need very much for this panel itself. And as you can see, it's very thick. It's coming out almost like maple syrup. And so I haven't put very much. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water here. Basically 50-50. And then I've got a foam roller and foam rollers work really well for applying the primer. It helps to reduce the amount of air bubbles that are actually in the primer as we're laying it down. So as you can see, my water is, you know, really runny. The primer is very thick. Essentially all we start to do is just to get everything all mixed together. It actually mixes together very quickly. The nice part about this primer is that it is water-based, so should you spill any on a surface that you don't want it on, you can clean it off with water. Or if you get it onto your hands, you can also clean it off with water versus you know something that's uh, an oil base. So this is nice. So I've got it mixed. And as you can see, it's just like a paint mixture. Uh, I'm gonna start by just getting some onto our roller here. I don't need very much because as we start to apply it, you'll see it kind of runs quite a bit. And what we wanna do is to coat the entire surface and get a good layer on there. And we want to make sure that we get inside the panel here as well. And one of the things that we can do is just to use the end of the foam roller to get into these corners. And then what I'm going to do is after I've got everything nicely flattened, I'm just going to come in with a lint free rag. And these are just the disposable blue lint-free rags. And that's going to help me get into all of these corners and crevices. So I'm just going to come in with the rag and just kind of wipe everything down. But as I'm wiping everything down, I'm getting everything pushed into the corners so that this way we know we've got primer in all of our corners here. And the last thing we want to do is to make sure that we get all of our edges. Gonna get a little bit more primer on there. We're gonna get all of our edges. And we're gonna go around the whole panel. And as you work this, you'll start to learn how to quickly prime everything. And one of the things that we want to make sure we do is that we get a really nice, even coat of primer. And in some cases, like here, I do have some air bubbles. With that same lint-free rag, what you can do is just slowly drag the rag across, and that'll essentially eliminate any of those bubbles. Because sometimes what'll happen is some of these bubbles will actually dry as the slightly raised surface, and that may affect the way that the vinyl looks. This, this primer is gonna take about 15 minutes to dry, and we'll feel when it's ready because it'll be tacky. All right, we've now prepped our panel. 
we've fixed any imperfections, we've sanded it, we've cleaned it, and we've applied primer to the panel. The last thing I like to do before I start to apply any vinyl is just with my hand, I like to actually go over the surface and feel to see if there's any imperfections. And actually, I have one that fell onto the surface. And so what that does is, this way I can feel if there's anything on here that's going to impede on the application of our vinyl and then ultimately show through. We wanna make sure that this surface is perfect. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it instructional and helpful for you in our series of application videos. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, like this video, follow us, and please make any comments, ask any questions, and we'll get back to you if you have any suggestions on what it is that you do that you think may improve our process. We'd love to hear it. And if you click on our top link in this video, that'll bring you to our next video, which is gonna show you how to actually apply vinyl onto this cabinet. I hope you found this helpful. I look forward to hearing from you.